What do you call a Spanish man that's just been discharged from hospital? Manuel. <laughs> Hello again everybody and welcome back. Right, so a very quick video here and a very quick disclaimer. I did put this video onto Facebook. We've got a new Facebook page and I put it onto there. I did post it in the community section on YouTube and a lot of people were saying, I don't use Facebook, I haven't got Facebook, we can't see the video. So that's the only reason I'm putting that onto the YouTube channel. I'm trying not to do any more videos on Showbox because it's boring me and I'm guessing a lot of you have stopped using it like we suggested. But when it comes to anything like this, I want to let you know what's happening and I want to let you know what to look out for because you don't want to get caught up in this spamming lark and it's just, it's just going to do your head in. It's just not wanted. It's just not cricket. Right, so that being said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And let's crack on. Right, so what I will say is before this video starts, comment down below your thoughts and opinions on this. I'm fed up of doing videos about it, but I'm only doing this one because it really is something you need to know. But like I said, do comment down below, let me know what you think. Right, so Showbox, as we know, it shut down, it doesn't work, it will probably come back at some point, but you really need to start thinking about moving away from it. I'm fed up of hearing about it, you're fed up of hearing about it, and I know we're going to get melted in the comments section about it as well. <laughs> but I just need to show you this one thing so you know what to look out for and you know what to be aware of. Right, so as you can see, I've got three versions of Showbox installed. And as we all know, if you've got an app installed, if you try installing the same app again, it won't install. So you can see these are three different types of applications. Only one of these is the official Showbox, and that being the one with the eye. It's a big eye. <laughs> the one at the side of it, it's a logo I've never seen before. It's a fake logo, that's not official. And then the one on the right, it has got the official logo, but the name of the file is Showbox-1. So that app is named completely wrong. When we open the official version of Showbox, as you can see, you get the error that we're all getting. Connection error, check your internet connection. Everybody's getting that at the moment, which is making everybody start to look for an updated version or a version that is working. And this is what's going to make a lot of people vulnerable to the spamming that's going to happen. So first of all, I'm going to click on the one with the fake logo. And if I click on this one, I'm going to quickly let it load up. And as you can see, it's just a logo. It, it doesn't look right to me. And then an advert. And then that's all the content that you get. That's it. You haven't got no options for your movies, your TV shows. That is all the content that you get. And when you do play a video from here, all it does is play a YouTube trailer for that movie. But although it looks like an official app and it's going to work great, to get that app it's going to make you sign up to a lot of things before it actually lets you install the Showbox app itself. And then the Showbox-1, if we open this application, as you can see it loads up, it looks quite credible. But that's just an image. I can't click nowhere, that's just a photo of Showbox. And then we get a message, due to excessive downloads, please verify you are not a bot to get access to Showbox APK. I've never heard so much bullshit in my life. <laughs> if we click OK, it's going to direct us to another web browser. And then inside here, it's going to ask us to sign up to things, put his email address in, human verification, as you can see, get a £250 Morrison's gift card. And then you've got to enter that. So you've got to put your details in. And it's details you don't want these people to know. There's a reason we use a VPN, and by you entering your details into that, you're just giving away your information. So if I quickly just open this web browser, as you can see, the latest official version of Showbox is 5.34. And that is the latest working version that was official, that has just stopped working and gives us the error, check your internet connection. But now a lot of people are starting to search for the 5.35 version, and this is where the problem is. There's a lot of websites and a lot of different places telling you you can get an updated working version of Showbox, but there is no 5.35 version. Although you can search it inside Google and it will tell you there is. When you actually install the app, I got one that was 1.0.1 .1 and I got one that was SB 1.0.6. So make sure you're very careful with the files that you are trying to download and install. So this is the website that gave me the 1.0.6 version if I clicked on the download button there. And then on another website, I got directed to this. And this is the app that has the official logo, but it's called Showbox-1. So it is going to let you download Showbox, but it's going to just load up as an image. And then it's going to ask you to sign up to stuff to be able to download the app, although you've already meant to have installed it. So 
I don't understand. So here's another thing I'm going to tell you you need to look out for. A lot of people are searching on YouTube for tutorials to fix Showbox or download and install a working version. Here's one that I found and it's a play it's a kind of place you don't want to try installing it from. And what they're telling you to do is get it from gethacks.net. This is the site that was spamming YouTube channels saying use gethacks.net, use gethacks.net. And as you can see in the video, in the comments section, a lot of people have started getting wise to it. What you can do, you can buy likes and you can buy comments to go onto YouTube and they're just bots. And that's what it seems these guys are doing. Very similar to this here, I advise everyone to go to and then you get that there without spaces. And then you get that again, so put this into your browser and download and install this. You don't know what they are. And the way that Get Hacks works, you simply click on download for an application. This is the one with the fake logo as well, by the way. And when you go to install it, it says get injection here. So then when you click on that, you've got to install two applications or you've got to sign up to two newsletters or whatever they are. You've got to put in your email address and stuff like that and give away your personal information once again. So honestly, I can't stress enough, just stay away from Showbox. I know people like the casting feature. I know people like how you can click on it once and it'll play a great copy of a movie or a TV show. But it's really not worth getting caught up in this, giving away your personal information or just your email address and getting spammed to hell. I'm guessing the email address will no longer be usable and if they're sending you links inside those emails, it's unreal what they can find out from you clicking on one link. People can send you a link and find out your address, everything about you. It's scary, it really is. So please just stay away from Showbox and then I can stop making videos about Showbox. <laughs> right, so I hope this video cleared a few things up for you and I hope it stopped you from taking that plunge and trying to install a working version when there isn't one. But like I said, do comment down below if it does work for you. Let me know because I could be wrong here, but with the amount of spam and the personal information you do have to put in, I wouldn't recommend you do it. But do comment down below if you have got a working version from there, which I doubt you have. Right, so that being said, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below, and I'll see you soon. Ta-da!